Oh, oh fine. already on. Okay. Um, yeah, I wanted to tell you guys from my morning that I had this morning. So I went up to the tap and was really happy because I made it in a really good time for me, at least. Um, it, it was actually the first time I challenged myself since my burnout last year, uh, last April, and that's a huge one for me right now because I actually felt really good doing it. Usually when I did too much like in the last year at home, um, it's a little bit ago, but anyway, um, yeah, I would feel like the symptoms coming back and everything and I would feel like really, really bad after it, not mentally, but physically. Just physically, I knew I had done too much and this was not the case today. So I'm really, really happy um, about that. And I had um, mango before and four, no, five or six or seven big mangoes after. And now I'm gonna have the same again. And after that, I'm gonna have this vegetable buffet, vegan buffet. They have like, come with me. They have like all sorts of vegetable dishes. Um, it's all vegan, but some of it is with oil, but they actually agreed to open just for us, for the festival, longer in the evening and to make also oil-free dishes. For example, this vegetable mix or this pumpkin mix. Um, I think this is oil-free too, with, with potatoes and yeah, it's really cool. So I'm gonna eat myself full with this and then go to the Q&A and film it for you. And the reason why I wanted to, I decided to challenge myself again today was because I feel like for the last year I had physical but also mental obstacles that prevented me from going a little bit harder again. Because when I went harder, like I, I felt bad, but I think not only physically but also a bit mentally. Because what I experienced with my burnout has a lot to do with fear actually so when I think back like when I when I remember it I really feel like I never want to experience this again and that's why I never that's why I always wanted to make sure I don't do I don't go too hard at all so I always want to make sure it's it's low intensity and so I, feel, I felt like my mind was getting into my way as well. So it was not only physical anymore, for a big part, yes, but not only. So my mind would, you know, keep me from trying it because the symptoms coming back is the worst thing for me to imagine. So, yeah, I was talking to a lot of people, also with Harley, and he encouraged me to actually, yeah, just, just try it because I was always in that and I'm thinking, no, I can't, it's not mental, it's, it's physical, it's physical. I knew it like it was a physical burnout and I see my symptoms coming back when I do too much physically. But I allowed, like when I, when I heard different people saying it, that it might just be a little bit too much mental stuff, I was listening to myself and thought, yeah, maybe... Actually, I feel quite a bit like I can't live anymore. I feel quite a bit like I can't live my life how I want to. So I was always jealous of the ones who could go harder, jealous of the ones who could go really sweaty, jealous of the ones who, who can do what they want. And I was always like, yeah, I would like to do it and eventually I'm gonna be able to do it again. But right now I just can't. So I really prevented myself, hindered myself from actually living the way I want to live. And so I decided to go to challenge myself today and it worked out fine. So I'm gonna be careful enough so like it won't be too hard. But this was a really good experience for me. Um, something that I really that I'm really convinced of and that I know is physical might not be like this is my message for you might not be only physical it can also be like the, the mind is so strong the mind can make us or break us and that is so true so yeah <laughs>